right okay today we are back with another death note reaction video in jordan we are on episode number 34 we literally have five six seven four more episodes to go yeah only oh, wow. two more recording sessions man yeah because we record around two each recording session yeah and in the past two episodes uh, we got a glimpse into Teru Mikame's life. Yeah. Right? And his childhood and his views and what, you know, made him have that black and white moral outlook on life. Yeah. The term divine justice was brought up. Yeah. And he kept referring to Kira as God. Yeah. So, I mean, he's the perfect perfect person for light to toy around with right and at the end of episode 33 i believe uh he was on the train right yeah when he wrote the name down in the book mm -hmm. uh, which may have been a fake book mm -hmm. uh and uh he may be getting toyed with here as you said right yeah i don't know what what light's trying to do with him right didn't it seem like light was trying to set him up yeah and He's okay with that, it seems. Mikami. It seems like he's okay because that's God. Yeah. He's not going to question God's will or what God wants him to do. He's just going to do it. So he may have to be the fall guy here. Yeah. And Takada, Kiyomi Takada, is going to fill his role possibly or become the next Kira. The goddess of the new world. The goddess of the new world. Let's find out. Yeah. All right, brother. We have a whole bunch of comments to read from our wonderful, wonderful patrons who have been following this Death Note journey since day one. Yeah. And uh, we're almost here at the end, and they have been going strong, giving us so much information. So let's read what they got to tell us today, brother. Let go. So the first comment comes to us from our wonderful patron, Silly Goose. And Silly Goose writes, It honestly feels like Misa was dumbed down just to make room for new characters mm. she feels very different from the hyper cute goth agent of chaos we were first introduced to yeah very true unless it could be or it could it be her fixation on light and the number of times that she has lost and regained her memories of the death note have affected her very being if so i feel like the caged bird she keeps as a pet is a mirror of her and where her choices have led her to. Wow. Yeah. Misa had a death note herself, a Shinigami who would literally die to protect her and freedom to do whatever she wanted. Then after she seeks out Kira and her obsession consumes her, it's like she loses herself. Misa herself pleaded with Light to use her as and her Shinigami eyes as he pleased just so she could cement her place by his side. It feels like her unrelenting devotion to light is a cage she willingly went into and shut the door herself. Could not have stated it any better. We see what you did there, Silly Goose. Yeah, that's a callback to... <laughs> Silly Goose just created a callback to the cage bird metaphor. Yeah. Wow. All right. On a side note, I love me some unhinged, deranged Mikami. My man has been a twisted little dude since his mother was killed in the accident it's true. with the school bullies. So terribly iconic how his black and white views on morality were the foundation to him becoming the exact type of person he wishes to eradicate from the world. Mm. Ooh. Mm. His and Light's ideologies are fundamentally flawed, but because they both think highly of themselves, people's validation makes them the exception to the rule in their minds i have no response to silly goose's comment uh, yeah. because this was per perfectly stated um the only thing i i may slightly wonder about is silly goose's love for mikami <laughs> better let silly goose live man all right silly goose is just trying to have a good time out here in this life true and if they want to love some unhinged, deranged Mikami, it's fine in my book. All right. My book's not a death note. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant comment. 
this whole parallel between the caged bird that Misa keeps and the idea of Misa ending up as the bird in the cage yeah. after having all of this power and agency to act light seems to be one of the most manipulative characters right we have met and may meet in our anime journey dude yeah yeah but this is a brilliant brilliant comment and it reminded me of some toxic relationships right in our real world because i mean you hear it a lot but like it could be either side has so much power going in and you get so wrapped up in the relationship and what the other person wants from you and how the other person views you and your love for that other person that you lose a portion of yourself right so brilliant brilliant comment yeah thank you so much silly goose yeah thank you okay our next comment here comes from our patron sarah and sarah writes Are you ready to jump in to episode number 34? I was born ready. Let's do it, everybody. This is episode number 34 of Death Note, and it's titled Vigilance. Ooh. Any guesses? S Sara or Sarah would uh, want yeah. us to guess. Vigilance. I think of like being on alert at all times. Yeah, you got to be careful. Who's following you? Nier's in Japan now. Right, right. There was the, was it the SPK member has infiltrated uh, Takeda's bodyguard? Yep. You got Aizawa. Aizawa. You got yeah. all these different characters who are leaning more to closer and, and closer to light. So, vigilance. Yes, sir. Let's go. Here we go, everybody. A man who was on the same train as Mikami just collapsed. He was harassing <clears throat> a young woman and suddenly fell to the floor. It all happened about a half a minute after he wrote something in the notebook. That's gotta be it. Well, now we know for sure. Yes. Our next order of business is to get as close as possible to Mikami. But before we rush in blindly, there's something we need to be careful of. And that is the being known as the Shinigami. Mm. The Shinigami will be loyal to Mikami and will warn him if it discovers we're following him. But the Shinigami can only be seen by those people who have touched the notebook. It's going to be pretty difficult to be careful of something we can't even see. We're going to try no matter how difficult. <laughs> Right. Understood, sir. Light's having another one of his meetings with Takata this evening. Right after they started having these encounters, Takata got a phone call from Kira, and all the surveillance cameras had to be removed. The first thing that came to my mind was that they'd be able to communicate secretly by writing messages. Everything checks out in here. Huh? I've gone over the entire room and there's nothing in it. There's only the wiretap on me. Uh, right. Then all that's left is the bathroom. Why does Light care so much about checking for cameras and wiretaps? Never mind that. Why is Kira allowing these meetings in the first place? Something just doesn't add up. Hmm. Uh, he's continuing to press, Storm. Yeah. If they really are writing notes to each other, there's only one way to prove it. Ooh. What was that about? Did he make a marking? Light, I thought you should know. I had a private chat with Miss Misa Amana yesterday. Uh, about what? Whoa. Oh boy, Light's in trouble now. Matsuda, is there some reason you're so happy about this? She told me that she's planning to announce her engagement to you during her appearance at the Pop Music Festival. Oh, he's busted. Lights Did I say, what is Misa to you? She told me that she's planning to announce her engagement to you during her appearance at the Pop Music Festival. What yeah. is Misa to you? Oh, he's busted. Lights in the dark. Oh, Matsuda. Matsuda is such an innocent. <laughs> she thinks we're together because I haven't been able to break it to her yet. But she means nothing to me. Misa, you idiot. <laughs> Why pull a stunt like that? No. Think about that. Misa, you idiot. Before it was Matsuda, you idiot. Mm. And L was saying that, the real L. Talk Matsuda, you idiot. She thinks we're together because I haven't been able to break it to her yet. But she means nothing to me. Misa, you idiot. Why pull a stunt like that? No, Takeda, you're just as bad. Why are women like this? Oh. Nothing you say? 
Why should I believe you? <laughs> she was in charge of killing before T. Oh, Somehow oh, she gained the same power as I had and found out that I was Kira. In the end, I had no choice but to take her as my partner. It's the only reason I would ever choose such an impulsive girl. That's the truth, though, right? So Misa was doing Kira's killings. But right now, I'm the one doing it for him. Mm. Light had no choice with Misa, but he chose me specially to help him. Believe me, she's nothing. He ain't choose You're you, though. You're the only one for me. You're the only one for me? Is that supposed to be serious? I expected better from you, Light. She does have a point. I'm not a pretty cheesy line, that. especially for Light. So which one do you think you'll oh, pick? Really? Amani or Takeda? Well, he could keep two-timing them. Are you serious? <laughs> you don't see any problem with that? He's gonna blow. Hey, He's gonna blow. Will you two shut up? Yeah, he don't have time for this drama right here. Yeah. You're going to have to prove yourself from now on, Light. But I will trust you. Of course, if I find out that you're lying, you'll pay dearly. In fact... I'll tell Kira about oh, it. Oh. Oh. Kira, huh? <laughs> now, I understand that the world really needs Kira right now, but I just can't help but wonder, will the day ever come when you and I can be together? Mm. I can't help but hate Kira for choosing you as a spokesperson because it keeps us apart. I don't mind if he kills criminals, but we've done nothing wrong. We have the right to lead happy lives, don't we? Yes, I want to be happy together with you. <laughs> that could only happen if Kira wasn't around. You're right. If only Kira wasn't around. Is that what the note said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kira I think. Should be arrested. Uh -huh. oh, it's true. Mika, me. They're gonna arrest Mika, me. To have a chance of being happy together, Kira needs to be caught. Wow. Wait a minute, Kiyomi. Do you seriously mean that? Yes. All right. But if I'm going to arrest him, I'll need your help. You'll be putting yourself in danger. After all, I'll be defying the police, and you'll be going against Kira and the entire world as well. Are you sure? That's okay. Is he going to write another note that says yes? That's a long pause. All right. If cooperating with you means that we can be together, then I'm prepared to make that sacrifice light. What a turnaround! Just like you'd expect from our guy. He was able to move the conversation from cheating on Misa oh Misa boy. to getting Taki to help him. Mikami's talking to himself. What's going on? He was too far away for me to pick up his voice, but I recorded video of his lips moving. I'm sending you the footage I was able to get. It's of Mikami during his lunch break. This is it right here. He's saying something. Show it to us one more time in slow motion. Oh, what is on the ground there? Is that you, Shinigami? Is Damn. What that's some good lip reading right there. He to have reacted to the scrap of paper at his feet. He just gave a small sigh. At this point, he talks to himself a little more. I'm gonna zoom in on his lips. Must be the Shinigami floating at the That Shinigami ever since he handed me the notebook. Oh, This must be part of the... That Shinigami, ever since he handed me the notebook, he hasn't reappeared. Hmm. Mikami was given the notebook by one of the Shinigami. But it seems that Shinigami hasn't been following him. Hmm. So that's how it is. I guess that's all for today. See you next time. Of course. Uh, it's finally over. Man, things got pretty intense today, don't you think? It's tough to do this for hours on end. Yeah, you really look like you're suffering. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna wrap things up at the hotel. Okay, thanks for all your hard work. Aizawa might check the notes. Aizawa stuck with booking the hotel and checking mm -hmm. out every time. Cause he made the little right. Look. 
I feel oh, like I Eyes going back in. Even though he's trying to figure this out, I feel like he's going to get himself yeah. in a situation he can't get out of. Yeah. It's gone. Yep, yep. The work I left is gone. So they used a sheet from the bottom? Yeah, interesting. I, what's that about? Still there? I left four marks. Two oh. of them are gone. The room's been left just as it was. Housekeeping hasn't come in yet. Then how and why would anyone switch these two notepads for new ones? That settles it. They're writing notes. <sighs> Uh-oh. Yes? What's that? You want to meet and talk with Nier in person? Nice sunglasses, man. <laughs> Mr. Aizawa, it's been a while. And it's a pleasure to meet you. That's very nice of you, but kind of hard to accept while I'm blindfolded. Oh, those are bl a blindfold. <laughs> in that case, you're free to take off your blindfold. It's the most stylish blindfold I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. He's like, what the hell? Yeah. You're near? I believe what you said earlier. Elle has been meeting Takata almost every single night. I know. What? <laughs> well, then what about this? They are passing notes to each other. I confirmed it. Mr. Aizawa, please don't take any unnecessary actions on your own. Unnecessary actions? Yes, this is not the point where we bring up evidence against Kira and openly confront him. Mm -hmm. I must corner him in a dead end with a plan that would guarantee his defeat. This is what it will take to stop him for good. Mr. Aizawa, I'm going to be blunt with you. You and the rest of the task force are already out of the picture. However, if you still want to help capture Kira, you can. All I want you to do is keep an eye on him as you've been doing. That's it? Keep an eye on him? Yes. Of course, there certainly is a purpose in watching over L. In fact, I've already taken it into account as part of my plan. That's why I'm hoping you can help me. Oh, mellow. <laughs> I want you to watch him in order to win against Kira. And after that, I want you to be a witness Ooh. to the end of Kira. Interesting. Okay. Any thoughts so far? You can feel things heating up. Isa will, uh, has always seemed to be a character who has acted on his own. Yeah, and impulsively. Yeah, yeah. Even when he was no longer a part of the investigative task force with the first L. Yeah. He was still putting in work to try to take down Kira. I feel like Nier here is trying to almost help him out. Like giving him advice don't act alone yeah. trust me that's not how you want to go about doing this but yeah i don't know what'd you think yeah uh interesting for some reason i can't shake a thought that came into my head as light and takara were sitting across the table from one another L just right here in this episode yes what thought what if takara writes Light's name in the book mm. or in the pages that she has been given. Right? And she is the one to kill Light. What if? What made you think that thought? I, I don't know. It's just like I, I think about the like all of the attempts that have been made by the previous L here by Near. Yeah. It's like they're all working basically without a death note. Yeah. You know, and if you if you want to Really take care of this situation once and for all. Just write the man's name down in the book. So you think, is that possible? That's a good question. I don't know. All these Death Note rules, there may have been one that made clear that that might not be possible. But, mm. yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> That's, there are no wild predictions or theories at this point. Yeah, Anything can happen. I'd be interested in it. That'd be interesting if that actually did yeah. come to fruition. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one final thing, I guess, before we read these. Light 
it seems, does not give a damn about Mikami. Yeah. That's what it feels like. About Mikami or Takeda. Or Takeda. Ta yeah. At the end of the day, everybody's disposable to light. But I sort of feel bad for Mikami just looking at him, yeah. even though he's been on a deleting rampage. I sort of feel bad for him. He seems like he's getting set up. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to see Mikami and how he deals with what's coming for him. Yeah. All right, we have a note here that says the death note will not take effect if you write a specific victim's name. I assume, that, <laughs> I assume that's victim. Right? I know, it looks like a B. A specific victim's name using several different pages. Okay, so you have to write the person's name on uh, one page. So you can't write like different letters on different yeah. pages? Okay. All right. Uh, it continues, but the front and back of a page is considered as one page. For example, the death note will still take effect even if you write the victim's surname on the front page and given name on the ah, back. Got it. Okay. Simple rules. Uh, it, it feels weird a little bit that these rules are coming toward the end of this series. Yeah. Right? It, it's almost like the most compl complicated rules started us off and now we're getting rules that may not even have any impact. Right. I know one of the rules that we read in one of the previous episodes talked about how there can only be six active death yeah. notes in the world at once. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see that at play. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I don't think we'll get the chance. All right. But that's okay. All right. Let's continue. Let go. Oh, I like that music. This oh, has been your engine. breakthroughs for me, and I'm sure for many others as well. And what better way to bring this year to an exciting close than with the East-West Pop Music Festival? Oh, oh that's where yes. Misa said she's gonna... Oh, I didn't know she'd be the host. You all, enjoy the show. all right, the Pop Music Festival's about to begin. Matsura, shouldn't you be checking over the reports on Kira's killings? Yeah, in a minute, but after Misa Misa performs, she's the opening act this year. We this guy. We her on. <laughs> <laughs> Or Misa. Ah, uh, Hal Lin Lidner. Lidner. Uh oh. Pardon me. We're from the SPK. We'll need you to come with us. They're taking Misa? Before we continue, I'm afraid I must apologize on behalf of the staff of NHN. It's very unfortunate, but it seems that this year's opening act, Miss Misa Amane, has not entered the concert hall yet. Mm -hmm. Huh? Of course, many unexpected things What's going can on. Mogi didn't tell us anything about this. Does Light know about this? I don't know. Great help. Thank you, Mr. Mogi. He's in on it. I probably would have resisted if I hadn't listened to what Aizawa told me, but after hearing about the notepads, there's no doubt in my mind. Are they coming after light? I think so, yeah. Oh, snap, Jordan. Yeah. Here. Yes? What is it, El? We have a problem. Mogi and Misa Amane have gone missing. I'm already aware of that. <laughs> he knows. I was the one who took them into custody. Yeah. Oh, you what? For what reason? Oh, just in case. <laughs> this guy. Kidnapping is a blatant criminal act. <laughs> you have to stop kidnapping. Actually, Mr. Mogi and Amani both came here willingly. You can even well. ask them yourself. I'll put them on the line now. Here they are. <sighs> Mogi, Misa, mm -hmm. this is L speaking. Right. Oh. I'm told that Nier is detaining you. He said that you both agreed to it. Is that true? It is. Mogi. Actually, I was against the whole thing. But Mogi said it would be best if I just went along quietly. He told me we would have both been killed if I didn't. All right. It's fine as long as you both consented to this. Light is so now I've removed Misa Amane, pissed. the one who might be the second Kira from the equation. Light Yagami, 
I'm sure the significance of this move isn't lost on you. Hey, no way! You're planning to end this without Pizza Misa, Misa performing? God, what a it looks like Lidner and the others were successful. It's past nine. All right, it's my turn. What's he gonna do? He's part of the SPK too, right? Oh, snap. Is he going to arrest him? Mika, he's going to do yeah. something. He might get his ass deleted. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni. Breaking into his locker. Oh, maybe to try to find the Mika book. Work at almost the same time it's a fake book, though. Yeah. Slight variations. He leads a completely scheduled life for the most part. So, he always goes to that particular gym every Monday and Thursday at around 9 o'clock, is that correct? Yes, he's kept that routine for the past 40 years. Every Damn. He, joined, he didn't even skip New Year's Day. inquiries to confirm it myself. He's consistent. Good. Yeah. So then we can assume that he will be there on Monday the 31st as well? Yes, if he's the type of man who would go on holidays, then he'll certainly go on New Year's Day. <laughs> Giovanni, oh. would it be possible for you to touch the notebook on the 31st of the gym? Yes. I've already done a thorough check of the hotel security. The locker room is definitely free of any kind of surveillance. Then I'll leave it to you. Sir, if there is a Shinigami with him, there's a distinct possibility that I will die, isn't there? Yes. Part of the reason you're doing this is to test that theory. Even if you don't see any Shinigami after first touching the notebook, I want you to continue watching Mikami for a while longer before we conclude whether or not he has one following him. I can have Rester do it if you're too scared. Hmm. No, I understand. I'll do it. He might get caught. Yeah. He's good at pick locking things. Don't touch it. If there's a Shinigami around, no. If there was one, I'd be dead. It's too late to turn back now. Does he I think the Shinigami's to gonna kill him? <sighs> Nothing happened. Yeah. Cause it ain't the real book. Oh, what was that? I thought you got caught. Sir, I've succeeded in touching the notebook. I can't confirm the existence of any Shinigami at this time. Commander Rester, please connect me with Mr. Mogi for a moment. Mm. Huh? Mr. Mogi, according to your investigation and the rules of the notebook, how long can a person be controlled before their death? Based on the data we got from Yotsuba's experiments, it's 23 days. Are you sure? Mm. Yes. I'd say that the killings done by Yotsuba were more than enough to prove it. Thank you for your assistance. We have to consider the possibility that Giovanni is already being controlled. In that case, they could be making him say that there is no Shinigami. Huh. That means I need to confront El in exactly 24 days. If Giovanni is still alive until then. I saw you had some trouble at the pop music festival. Yes. I never imagined that Miss Amane would go missing. Give T an order to contact you and let you know as soon as he's confirmed everything. Once you hear from him, I want you to send me a text message or call me with the following message. I want to see you as soon as possible. Photographs? Yes. I want to see exactly what he wrote in the notebook. I want to see the pattern and how Mikami writes. If there are any habits, and what kind of notebook it is. I want to see it all. Everything in detail, with my own eyes. Uh, where does he get these little figures? Yeah. Uh oh, he's about to walk in. He's about to walk in. Yeah, he's going to get caught. Damn, look at that book, Jordan. Yeah. 
They told him to keep writing. What do you think, Nier? Perfect. Giovanni has done an excellent job. The handwriting matches that of the records Mikami keeps as prosecutor. Damn. There's absolutely no doubt. This is his handwriting. I agree. With this, we can do it. They're gonna arrest his ass. Wow. Alright, so ultimately this is why light instructed mikami to continue writing in a fake book yep <laughs> yeah. right, light is always two or three steps ahead yeah i don't know what to say about this episode yeah it was a little tricky and convoluted um like the reasoning exactly for taking in both misa and mogi yeah um the 23 24 day thing tripped me up a yeah. bit as well yeah like uh near is hypothesizing that um what's the guy's name that was taking the pictures of giovanni i believe giovanni that giovanni may be being controlled by someone who wrote his name in the book i believe okay right he, i think like we, we've seen people be controlled before their deaths yeah right to do or say things yeah based on that control okay so i think in order to rule that out this is what near is waiting for all right yeah okay um you have anything else about this episode i don't know no i'm ready for the next one yeah i think we should just jump right into the next one yeah i, I am incredibly curious to see how this ends yeah because jordan we have three more episodes left mm -hmm. what could happen anything what could happen anything you want to make any predictions i don't think i have any predictions at this point i'm just trying to follow along like you said it does seem like parts some parts are very straightforward but yep. other parts are very convoluted especially when it gets to talking about these rules yep. and i know previously they were talking about a made-up rule the 13 day thing um and the bouncing back and forth between Kira, non Kira, memory of it, yeah. having no memories of it. It seems like something's about to go down. Yeah. Right? I mean, Nier is trying to close in on Kira. Yeah. You know, I, I don't I don't know how this ends. All right, let's find out then. Lego, let's keep pushing everybody. Thank you so much for watching this episode with us. Let us know your thoughts. Please keep providing your brilliant analysis to help us out and yeah we'll see you the next episode we love you do not forget be kind and keep an open mind everybody peace, peace.